The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Hey, what up, YouTube fam? It's Dupree, a.k.a. Darth Hater here with some fresh brand new Star Wars news for you. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out my last video because it greatly helps with the channel. So let's get into it. So after the lukewarm reception from the masses, Lucasfilm opted to cancel The Acolyte after a single season on Disney+. Plus. The series features an ensemble cast including Lee Jung Jae as the enigmatic Jedi Master Soul. As it turns out, Lee may have not been Lucasfilm's first choice for the role. A report from a Hollywood insider suggests the production house initially tried to get Keanu Reeves for the role. While on the contrary to the report, Reeves never filmed a scene for the Acolyte, he had been in talks for the role, ultimately played by Squid Game's star Lee Jung Jae, whose character was killed off at the end of season 1. Apparently Lionsgate wouldn't allow Reeves to adjust his shooting schedule for The Ballerina, the highly anticipated John Wick spinoff flagship franchise of the studio. While studio insiders have countered that Reeves was never formally offered the role, apparently he was very interested in doing the show, which wound up casting his Matrix co-star Carrie Ann Moss, another selling point for him. Insiders also say, don't be surprised if Reeves finds his way back into Star Wars franchise down the line as Lucasfilms, as Lucasfilms reigns high on the actor whose interest has been noted internally. Wow. When you think about that, that would have been a total amazing casting decision right there. Keanu Reeves was such a bigger, you know, actor than Lee Jung Jae um, in the eyes of the majority of fans that it would have been a perfect fit. You know, it probably would have gained the better viewership, even regardless of how the show was perceived. And on top of that, you get Carrie Ann Moss and Keanu Reeves, basically Neo and Trinity from The Matrix. That would have been a cherry on top right there. There's been talk about Keanu Reeves in Star Wars before. A lot of fan casting was people wanting him to play Darth Revan from the Knights of the Old Republic video game and books, which would have been really cool. But I do love Lee Jung Jae's performance. Like the man literally learned English. He doesn't speak English as his first language to do this role. And he did it with such gravitas and nuance that it did, really didn't matter. Like, you know, I I think honestly, Lee Jung Jae was really good at Master Soul, but Keanu Reeves though is another story. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think Keanu Reeves would have been a better fit for Jedi Master Soul and the Acolyte? Do you think he possibly would have helped viewership? And do you think Lucasfilm is gunning for Keanu Reeves for something later down the line? Possibly Darth Revan? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell to get notifications for all my latest videos. That would be great. Anyway, guys, take care. See you in the next one. May the Force be with you. Bye.